Well, guys, we're back. Final announcements, spring 2017, the penultimate season. So let's just review this season first, which I haven't done that much in the past, but we're going to review this season first before I sort of give the lead in to summer 2017, which as you guys know, there will be a summer 2017. So I sort of rated myself, and I have this here, on the four big categories that you need to watch for as a YouTuber. Quality, length, quantity, and watch or don't watch. So quality and watch or don't watch sort of fit in, like tie in together, but in my opinion, they're two different categories. So let's start with quality, which in my opinion was awesome this season. It was way better than winter, although really everything was way better than winter. So this season I wanted to put quality over quantity again because in the winter season I did the opposite of that. I got so hooked on the idea of making a video every other day that I started making videos I didn't want to make. I started making videos that were just cringeworthy and videos nobody wanted to watch, including me, and I'm the one that made the videos. So, you know, I, I think I really did that well this season. I sort of went back on quantity and started making more videos based on quality, like how good they were, how funny they were. And um, I, I wanted this season to be comedic, like, I wanted this season to be humorous that people would enjoy it more because I know in my past seasons I've sort of been too serious except for a few vlogs so I wanted to really spice it up and make it a bit funnier this season so you know I think I did that well and it actually came out pretty well the quality of my videos this season I would give it 9 out of 10 length of the videos second category the length of the videos I would say moderate I mean, besides the Relatables, the entire purpose of the Relatables was to be 30 seconds. But, you know, aside from that, I'd try to keep within the 3 to 5 minute range because I think 3 to 5 minutes is a perfect length. Depending on the type of video, anything below that is too little. Anything above that, I think, is too much and it'll bore viewers. Depending on, like, what type of video it is. I mean, certain videos you can watch for an entire 20 minutes and not be bored once. Like, but those are mostly compilation videos. Like, my channel is not a compilation channel. Some channels, they have that skill that they can make 20-minute videos and people won't get bored. But, you know, I kept most of them within the 3 to 5 minute range, but some of them needed to be a bit longer. Some of them may have been, like, towards the boring side at the end. And, in my opinion, I would give the length of the videos category a 7 out of 10. Quantity of videos. Can I bring up Winner one more time? Just one more time, okay? After this, I'm done with Winner. Winner is the past, it's over, at least for this video. So the quantity of videos this season was not as frequent as Winter, but, you know, I wanted to make it like that. I sort of trailed off at the end, like I started the season with a video every three days, and it sort of ended once every five or six days. Uh, the quantity wasn't what I was concerned about, though. Like I just said, it was the quality of the videos that mattered. So, I didn't want to put up a video that was really boring, that nobody wanted to watch, just to fill a gap between time. Even though I'm going to give myself a 6 out of 10 for quantity, remember, quality over quantity. So, this is like a combination of all three of the above. Do my videos make you guys want to watch more of them did you guys want to watch my videos this season were you excited to watch my videos this season now most of this should be your opinion because this is really the opinion of the public and i'm just i'm trying to speak honestly when i say that this season was definitely i would I would watch this season over and over again. This spring season, I was watching a lot of times in study hall because I was bored in study hall, but I wanted to watch this season. I wanted to make more videos, and it really inspired me to go home and make three or four videos because they were good videos and more 
more of this, this is a quantity part, more types of videos of this were what I wanted to see. Even though I'm the one making it, but I'm just saying, like, I, as a fan, like, as a fan of my channel, let's just pretend for a second I'm not Man Cave TV. If I'm a fan of my channel, I want to see great quality, a decent length, and a decent quantity. So, I think that I did a good job with all three. Now, quantity, you know, I mentioned that 6 out of 10, but quality is the big one that I was concerned about. And these three categories together, if you get 10 out of 10 on all three categories, you're a good YouTuber. It was decent. The length of videos was decent. The quality was good, in my opinion. So, you know, anywhere from 8 out of 10 to 9 out of 10, maybe 8.5. I would, I would put myself at 9, but 8.5, 8, that's reasonable. To close off this season, I believe that this season was good. Maybe not the best. Maybe there had been better seasons in the past, but I would rate this the second best season Maybe the first, I don't know, however you guys would rank Summer. Would you rank it below or above this? If you would rank Summer below this, then I would say Spring, number one. And I'm just trying to continue to improve. And hopefully Summer will be the best season. Summer 2017, the best season on Man Cave TV. Which I will start to talk about now, but will not get in depth with it. You guys will have to wait five days till June 16th to see what this season will be about. And that will... Yeah, that's in a few days. We've only got a few more days of school left, right? Yeah, we've only got a few more days left now. Um, this is being recorded in March. <sighs> Come on, June. Just get here already. It might sound depressing now, assuming you're a fan... That this is the last full season of Man Cave TV, at least for a while. I'm trying not to focus on that. I advise you guys not to focus on that either. Just focus on how the videos are, how good you think the season is. So, this season, I will be doing everything except for daily vlogs since fall 2015. And I'm just going to leave it at that. We'll go in depth at the opening announcements of next season. So thank you guys so much for being a part of this season. And if you just joined this season, welcome aboard. Um, please check out some of the other videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this season, leave a thumbs up. And yep, but until next Friday, thank you guys for watching this season. And peace out, Bruskies.